Hello everyone, Arden John is here, and I've recorded two episodes, two or three episodes of Gladiator Beast, uh, the glory of Gladiator Beast, and we finished all the, uh, as you can see, loner deck challenges, and all we have to do is use my deck, and let's start with this one, my deck as of this episode, are going to be Elti, with a combination of Shadol and Elwich decks. And I'm not sure if I showed Case, uh, it's been, like, it's been, like, two months since I recorded those two, those episodes ago with the Collider Beast, but I want to finish it today, and, yeah, I hope it's, you guys enjoy this, and, uh, let's start this thing. It's gonna be fun. And uh, I should probably read those texts. I keep forgetting that I could read those texts. Oh well. So let's see how my platinum rank deck fare against this odd behemoth. Uh, ooh, there's so many things I could do. Uh, set this card. Yeah, let's just set this card and set this card and this, uh, there's a ba ba boom. We gotta kick some A's now. The Restorated Gladiator Beast, that's the name of the guy. I can never forget a face. What, what, what is that? Alright. Yep, activating po Super Poly. Sorry, bro, but, uh, Super Poly is just so OP now. Throwing this Shadal Fusion, and uh, we're gonna get this little lovely Munskin, and then we're gonna just kind of norm set in defense position because it has more defense than attack, and uh, then we uh, also activate our little dragon's effect, Shadal Dragon, and uh, destroy this. Uh, okay. And here we have the L Lich. Uh, not gonna lie, this is not looking so hot. But uh, we're gonna set this card, and I guess we can't just put it in attack position and attack him directly. Bop! Uh, so far, not so great in card advantage, but uh, we got. What even is this guy? Are, are you joking me? Of course we're gonna activate it! We're gonna get this guy over here. So Falco basically revives our guys and... That's it. Wow. Uh, this is gonna be difficult. Uh, well, I guess we could just use uh, Chateau Fusion here and try to get an OTK. Uh, yeah, let's just use Chateau Fusion. So this is a uh, question is. All right, we're gonna use this one. No, this one, yes, and uh, we're gonna get rid of this one, and Falco, the thing is, if he use Falco as a material, he can revive himself, and now that we have a bunch of guys, we got lots of chaining to do, we're gonna use this one, we're gonna use this guy, and no, no conquistador, we're not gonna use you. Uh, gonna get Falco over here. Uh, and window does not affect, activate. Alright, great, thank you. Flip it. Return this guy. And then, OTK. I think. That's, that's how you use the term. Winda. Ba boom, we win. So, I'm gonna try to rush through these uh, things over here. 
And uh, as you can see, now this area is complete. And we got Dark Orb. The Gladiator Monster can activate effect. And the, okay, it's just explaining how they are effect works. All right, no lore. Test Tiger can draw out the facts of Gladiator Beasts without fighting, by the way. So be wary, especially some of the Gladiator Beasts. Mormillo, which destroys monsters. Or Gladiator Beasts Bastari, which destroys Bellantruck. Okay, so. Something that I already know. Thank you. And it did not work last time, by the way. All right, so we got uh, a lot of outlitch things. Uh, let's hope for the best that we don't die this turn, because uh, we don't want to waste our golden lord effect. Oh no! What I what did I do? I forgot to set the cards. Oh God! Please show mercy. Oh, Heavenly Father. You sick son of a bitch! Pizza! You son of a pizza! Yeah, that's right. I called your mom pizza. Uh... Can't kiss this guy. And then we get, uh... Elixir directly from our deck to the field and as of now we don't oh my goodness we got pancreatops my man dinosaur wrestler pancreatops yo show the man some respect eh and now it's 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 a uh... We are gonna get rid of this one because he's it's dead in our hand and we're gonna get rid of this guy. Ah, I'm good. And uh, the best part about Elixir is we can now get this guy and uh, pop this thing and uh, now we can activate this thing and uh, now we don't want to activate your fact Panky Chops. Uh, we're gonna set this guy because it's a great interruption. And uh, now we have our main man, Goodly, back on the field with a whopping 3,500 attack boost. Mm, yeah. And then we're gonna set some cards. And we're gonna set this card over here. And then we're gonna battle and uh, make him lose at least 6,000 HP. What, 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 is it? what is that? Hold the phones. Level 4, lower. A higher monster cannot attack directly. You can send this face up card. Pancreatops, use your effect. We don't want to see that thing. Pop it. I just love Pegritops. It's one of the reason he's one of the main reason why I managed to climb up the ranks so easily is because I just got him out of the blue and I like I had him to my deck and I flew through golden rank just using him. What the hell? Target a face of... Well... It's not gonna stop it though. Oh wait, it did. Can we banish something? Oh yeah, we can banish that big boss monster. Yeah, yeah, let's banish that guy. Yeah, yeah, let's banish that guy. My, uh, Aquario of Golden Land. Aquario of Golden Land. I'm not Spanish, guys. Leave me alone. Alright. Another sh 
Normally, I would not be against a Tile Fusion, but uh, we don't have it. He doesn't have any extra deck monsters in the field. Alright, activate this thing. Conquistador. I can say that easily. But I can't say the other guys like. Uh, pop this guy. Yo, Hua, Aquario, Aquario. I really want to spend some Black Ops Soldier Chaos Black Ops Soldier, but. We're trying to rush through this, guys. We're, we're, we're gonna. See. Sometimes when it comes to Yu Gi Oh!, it really matters up to the last life point, and. Uh, I should have put my guy in attack position, but uh, I was too stupid. But d no worries, we're still in the game. Especially in the game now. We're gonna fusion summon, I don't care. We're gonna make construct. Who cares? Give me the construct. Gonna use this guy, this guy, and uh, get ourselves construct on the field. Baby, and we're gonna activate Counter-Strike, We're gonna activate Falco, and then we're gonna activate mm -mm -mm. none of these in the graveyard. Uh, Falco goes over here, and I think about Counter-Strike, I'm gonna go straight to it. We can dump Dragon straight from our deck to the graveyard and pop a back row, and then we're gonna pop a back row. Fuck this guy. And yeah, let's just wing it. Uh, construct automatically defeats him, and uh, yeah, it's a golden lord wins. <laughs> I love El Dorado the movie. It's a great movie. And you can see we're flying through this. These de these decks aren't difficult. The loner deck challenge is more of a challenge than this. Uh, it's like, oh, I got 200 if I win this. Ah, I like that. I like it a lot. Like I said, it's much more difficult to play through the campaign using the loner decks because, ooh boy, those things are nasty. Ah! So we go get to get second and what's with these decks not using their extra deck? Well, honestly, I can't use any of these cards in my hand. Uh, I'm just gonna set this card. This is one of the moments where my deck starts to brick. And. I am not sure which one I should pick. Yeah, we just use window. Uh, window gets out. And we're not gonna use Ariel. She's just gonna banish our guys and uh, we get Falco over here and uh, we set another Falco over here and uh, Basil and uh, Winda just uh, is freakishly OP because she, our opponent, uh, she just locks our opponent into one special summon per turn and that's not gonna cut it. And yeah, Maxi, uh, I missed time Maxi if I had known he w I should probably use it to the start of the game, but, uh, oh well. Uh, I could use Conquistador, but, uh, let's just activate this thing. Uh, 
um, get ourselves uh, our golden ward into our hand, and uh, I guess we we can't. Well, I guess I'll just save time and just go battle and uh, destroy. Oh yeah, forget this thing doesn't allow me to do any of that. Uh, I'm a big dum dum. I should have probably activated the main phase too. Uh... Wait, what? Ah, that I grabbed myself a uh, the uh, Shadow Fusion. How about that? What is that? <laughs> and of course, we can't activate that. Oh, who, what, what one are you gonna pop? Oh, you pop my conquistador. Of course I'm gonna use... You think you can beat me? This thing got some platinum! I got still got my Falco, you damn dirty little munchkin! How dare you! Sent this guy. And now, guess what, my next turn? I'm gonna have a bunch of elixirs out on the field, and you're gonna like it! I hope he does not manage to pop any of them because I think they can defuse at the end of this turn. Okay, okay, okay. I still got a chance before he starts shuffling himself. Alright, 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 I shit all fusion allows me to fusion summon from my entire deck. Uh, I think construct would be nice, and uh, we're gonna get rid of this guy, and we're gonna toss this guy. Oh no, I should not summon the. Nice hint, a nice tip. Don't summon your construct in the uh, extra monster card zone so when you're playing PvP. Because uh, there are a lot of cards that uh, could use her as material, as of, if, if, if that would be the case right now. Anywho, we are going to dump this thing to draw a card. Useless! Anywho, uh... Let's bring out our Golden Lord on the field. Yes. Uh... No. Yes. And yes. Yes! Most excellent! And then we're gonna flip the, the Falco, and we gotta use Falco, and then we, uh... I guess we can return Winda, but, uh, I don't want, uh, want her. Uh, yeah, let's just bring base back. Because, uh, yeah, we can do a lot of stuff. That is cool. Uh... Oh, I know what we're gonna summon. We, I know what we're gonna summon later. Uh, but for now, we are just gonna use this guy. And, uh... Get ourselves Black Luster Soldier. On the field. My man. And she gets her another... Shadow Fusion. And... Mm, 
No, let's just uh, go attack this guy with our guy. All right. And now what happens is we get to boost him. And as of now, there's absolutely no way he can regain any advantage. We banish Elixir to get ourselves Conquistador straight from the deck to the field. But we can't activate him. But we just want to activate him during hit our opponent's turn. And uh, that's basically a free pop. Wow. The computer is actually thinking. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna activate Conquistador. I don't care if it's not a threat. We just want to get rid of him. Pop it. Pop him. And since we... Alright, let's just flip summon Beast then and activate his effect to allow us to draw two cards and then discard a card. We're going to discard this one, because then we can add Beast to our hand, and then we can use Beast to get ourselves to pop that back row. Back row, and uh, activate this, and uh, I actually could have just used uh, Eldritch, the Golden Lord <laughs> effect to... Uh, Toss him in a spell and trap card, but we're gonna use this one and could kiss the door. Wait, what did I do? I forgot to. She was a light monster. All right. Uh, let's see if Karsva can toss. Nope, she cannot toss from the uh, hand, so that means we gotta toss him, right? And we can special summon this guy. Activate this. Can we toss anything else? Well, it seems we can only toss trap cards now and uh, I guess we toss this one uh, I activate this get rid of torrential tribute because we won't be able to we we're gonna finish this match and now that we have elixir in the we could just uh, do this and uh, I'm sorry I, I really like to go overboard when I can just look at all these monsters. And note this, I could have gotten another win down the field, and... I feel like Black of Us, a soldier of chaos, kinda deserves the victory, am I right? I'm right. Mm. And we had super polymerization, allowing us to, uh, yeah. To fuse to summon on his turn. And thus, we have completed everything. Let us finish the goal and enjoy the glory of Gladiator Beast. Peter. And our reward is the Gladiator Beast deck. Uh, I have absolutely no idea what's in it, but uh, yeah, it's just basic Gladiator Beast and. Uh... Guessing, I, I'm not gonna try to get myself a Gladiator Beast deck. I've already spent enough jewels. Alright. The Gladiator Beast enacted ver various contests. As if it responds the voices of invisible specters. One on one combat. Platoon battle sieges. Naval battles. And when the excitement peaked. The seal that bound the bravest of Gladiator Beasts was broken! 
in close combat platoon battles. They were the gladiator beasts, beasts proud of their iron physiques. The large scale sieges, they were bird gladiator beasts, most active in raiding parties and aerial assault. The naval battles of at the Colosseum, they were the glider beast of fish and sea serpent from who drew their prey down in the dark waters. And the deadly weapons they wielded the battle machines and chariots were revived. The Colosseum regained its glory due to the brave heroics of the gladiator beast. When the forever of their contest reached an epic crescent crescendo, the gates of the Colosseum were opened and the terrifying death march commenced. Alright, that's dope. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we unlocked the Valiant Gladiator Pass. Let's go check it out. I don't need to buy it, but I like I like to check it out. Let's see what's in there. It's just a bunch of Gladiator cards, and uh, to be frank, it's too slow for the current meta. I'm sorry, guys. It's just... It's too slow. And as much as I love playing with these cards, I think it's not going to be... I'm not going to cut it. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoy this. And uh, have a lovely day. Goodbye.